Look at that. Bar is open. So let's review the Suntory Whiskey. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be reviewing the Suntory Whiskey. And it's a very interesting bottle, you know. Uh, all these notches at the sides of the bottle, it makes it look plastic. But, it's glass, you know. So I don't know why they, they have this design that sort of cheapens the design, that cheapens the look. But it stands out nonetheless. And this Suntory Whiskey from the house of Suntory is retailing at around 55 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you will get an interesting looking 700 ml bottle with 40% alcohol content. And how I'll be reviewing this whiskey will be in three ways. Number one, I'll be having it neat. Number two, I'll add a little bit of water to it to see how that opens up the whiskey. And number three, I'll be having it on the rocks. Starting with neat, well, first of all, we have to open the bottle. It's a brand new bottle, as you can see. It opens like a soju bottle, so I like to remove this because I don't want to hurt myself, which after a few more whiskies, I will. And using a tulip glass and a pourer, these days I like to drink very carefully, so just a single shot. Go and nurse it into the glass. Now, color-wise, it's a very pale yellow. Uh, it's a very, very faint colored uh, whiskey. Now, of course, you know, whiskeys tend to be this color simply because of colorings added to them. But, you know, it just doesn't feel like a strong whiskey based on the color. And what I like to do is I like to swirl the whiskey um, in this glass. And I want to see how long it actually takes for all these legs to come back down. Now for this Suntory Whiskey, it's actually holding up quite well. Uh, the ones here are just starting to come down now. Meaning, it took about 10 seconds before it started to come down the sides of the glass. So I'm expecting a finish, uh, you know, roughly about 10 seconds long on my throat. But we'll find out with the taste test shortly. Scent-wise, now again, for, for whiskies, for spirits, you don't actually have to put your nose into the glass. You can swirl it and let the scent escape. It has a very typical distilled spirit smell, meaning it smells like you know, paint thinner. But this came with a hint of sweetness. So I want to see whether that translates into the taste. And for taste-wise, you know, um, if you're having it neat, I highly recommend exhaling. Taking a sip, you know, then swallow it, and inhale and exhale again through your nose. So this allows the flavour to really circulate in the mouth and in the nose. Now I took too big of a sip, I'm going to have to refill this shortly. But even then, because of that, that drinking method, you don't feel the, the burn, um, it doesn't choke you. The burn from this whiskey, however, stays in the mouth. It's a very light sensation going down, but the burn is in the mouth. Or my gums actually, which is very interesting. I seldom get that from whiskies. There's barely any finish uh, from the taste, which is a very light and characterless whiskey. Probably a hint of oakiness. So there's that dry sensation. Uh, again, a hint of it. It's just a very characterless whiskey. This is not something to drink by itself. But, refilling it. This time what I'll have is a little bit of water. I just mix it a little bit to let the water blend in with the whiskey. Taste test too. Interestingly, when I add water to most whiskies, the flavor changes a little bit. Maybe it becomes more harsh, maybe it becomes more smooth. This one, you can taste 
that I added water to whiskey. Uh, the differentiation is very clear. It just tastes like diluted Suntory whiskey. So the characterless uh, flavor that I had at the start now is a diluted characterless whiskey. So far, <laughs> still not the way to drink this whiskey. Now I know why they make highballs with this whiskey because by itself it just cannot do the job. And I love Japanese whiskies. As mentioned, the third way I'm going to drink it is on the rocks. Now you want to use uh, crushed ice, you want to use normal ice cubes, you want to use an ice ball like I am. There's no right or wrong answer, it's just whichever way you prefer to drink. And same thing, a single shot. Hot too much. Nurse it over the ice to chill it. And because I put it over the ice to chill the whiskey, you know, uh, it will be sufficiently chilled and I don't want to dilute it again. So with that, please test three. Having it on the rocks is simply chilling the first shot. You're getting a very cold, characterless whiskey. All in all, I will tell you that if you are buying this one, I will only recommend it if you're buying it to make a cocktail. But if you're buying it because you want to find a cheap Japanese whiskey that you can enjoy by itself, please don't. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions. They're not to be used as an industry standard. I do however want to find out what you think about this Suntory whiskey and how do you drink it? I'm planning to make cocktails, I need some pointers. Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one new video every week. Plus, if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send them the link to the video as well. Most importantly, my friend, Merry Christmas.